بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له الملك الحق المبين الذي سهل لعباده الى مرضات سبيلا وأوضح لهم الهداية وجعل الرسول عليها دليلا وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله الذي بلغ رسالة وأدى الأمانة وكشف الأغمة ونصح للأمة وجاهد في سبيل الله حق بهذه وتركنا على المحدث البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك اللهم صل وسلم على هذا النبي الحبيب محمد وعلى آله وصحابته ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فعباد الله إني أحبكم في الله وأوصيكم ونفسي أولا بتقوى الله ومن يتق الله يجعل له مخرجا ويرزقه من حيث لا يحتسب عباد الله قال الله تعالى في محكم كتاب العزيز أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس أنتم الفقراء إلى الله والله هو الغني الحميد صدق الله العظيم My dear brothers in Islam Fasting especially in the West more importantly when you are fasting in the summer in the hot summer it might we might feel that is a burden on us but we have to remind ourselves over and over again that by fasting in the hot summer in the west it is not by doing that we are not doing a favor to allah we are not doing any favors to allah he allah is a samad self sufficient he doesn't need our worship to exist but rather we need him fasting is for us for our own benefit for our own life in a hadith al qudsi allah says ya ibadi law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum wa jinnakum kanu ala atqa qalbi rajulin wahidin minkum ma zada dhalika fi mulki shay'a wa law anna awwalakum wa akhirakum wa insakum wa jinnakum kanu ala afjari qalbi rajulin wahidin minkum ma yanqus dhalika mi fi mulki shay'a O oh my servants, were the first of you, the last of you, the human of you, the jinn of you, to be as pious as the pious heart of anyone among you, it will not increase anything in my kingdom. Were the first of you, the last of you, the human of you, the jinn of you, to be as wicked as a wicked, the most wicked heart of anybody amongst you, it will not decrease anything from my kingdom. So Allah is not favored. We are in need of Him. He has given us Ramadan for us to succeed. When we develop ourselves through Ramadan and when we succeed in this dunya and in the akhirah, Allah is pleased. Because He loves us so much that He doesn't want us to fail. So Ramadan is an opportunity which your God has given us, which your God has given you to succeed. He doesn't expect anything from him, from you. By doing that, it's not, it's not going to affect any of his kingdom. He's already a summit. Allah says, Ya ayyuhal nasu antumul fuqarawu ila Allah. Wallahu wal ghani ul hamid. O people, O humankind, you are in need of Allah. You are in need of Allah. You are dependent upon Allah. Wallahu wal ghani ul hamid. Allah is independent and he is rich. He is most praiseworthy. In this context, fasting is for our benefit, for our own existence. When I say success, it is not only in the akhirah. It is also in, the, in this world. Every worship, my dear brothers in Islam, which Allah has prescribed, has two objectives. One is the reward in the akhirah, that is the <coughs> deferred reward. The second is, the benefit in this dunya, that is the immediate benefit. The immediately, what does doing an act of worship brings to you? 
what kind of impact that worship has in an individual or in the community. <coughs> Mostly, we tend to overlook this aspect. When it comes to Ramadan, especially in Ramadan, we always think we are connected to hereafter. True. It is true. We tend to overlook what is the benefit Ramadan has to bring. What does Ramadan by fasting is expecting from me? <coughs> Why Allah prescribed that to me? To what is, what is the difference? What is the change He expects in myself and also in the community? After all, we are performing this act in this world. The action, the results of the action will be in the hereafter for sure. When you take Ramadan, we know there are so many hadiths. Talks about the benefit, the reward you will get in the hereafter. There are eight entrances to the Jannah. One is, named, one is called Rayyan, only the fasting people will be entered. Once they enter, it will be closed. Another hadith is Suya Mujunna, Wahisnu Hasinu Minanar. Fasting is a shield. It is a protective shield from the hellfire. In another hadith, Lissaimi Farahatan, Farahatun and the Likai Rabbihi, or Farahatun and the Fitrahi. The first one is about the world, the dunya. When you are breaking the fast, you have, you have this immense happiness. And the second one is Farhatun and the Likai Rabbihi. The second uh, happiness a fasting person will get when he meets his Lord in the Day of Judgment. The breath comes out from the fasting person's mouth is more pleasurable, more desirable to Allah than the musk, than the scent of musk. All these are related to hereafter. We know that. So this is a, is a motivation for us to fast. True. But at the same time, we have to see what is the benefit in this dunya. In a broader sense, Sometime, my dear brothers in Islam, the benefits we reaped in this dunya by an act of worship is dependent, it is conditional on the reward in the hereafter. If we did not get the benefit in this dunya, we cannot guarantee that we will get the, guarantee, uh, the reward in the akhirah. Which means the reward in akhirah, true. But to get that, you have to first earn the benefit, reap the benefit from this dunya. That means fasting has a role in this world. Fasting has been prescribed to perform a role, to make a change, to make a difference. What is that difference? Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu amal ibn adam lahu illa sawm. It's a hadith supposed to say. All the worship which a human person does is belongs to him. He will be rewarded. فَإِنَّهُ وَالصُّيَامُ إِلَّا sawm. Except the fasting. فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ the fasting is belongs to me. Allah says, the fasting belongs to me. I am rewarding for that. He has exclusive rights to reward for your fasting. In another hadith, Allah says, Subhanallah, I become the reward for it. Allah becomes your reward. Allah Himself becomes the reward. To explain this hadith, He said that Allah will become the person who fast, if it is accepted by Allah, his hands, his words, his actions, everything will become divine, will be accepted by Allah. The fasting, so Allah says that there's a kind of fasting which I have, I, 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 I take it for me, which belongs to me. Allah claims exclusive rights for certain fasting. What is it? Allah says, يَدَّعُوا طَعَامَهُ the person, he skips his uh, food, he skips his uh, drinking, and he skips his desires. Because of me, because of me, for me, he is leaving all these three things. What are the three things? The food, the drink, and the desires, the whims and fancies, whatever we have. Whatever is our, our heart is controlled, our soul is controlled by all these desires we have, our wishes. But our fasting, the fasting we know, has two aspects. That is, the food and the drink. So to be qualified 
to be accepted by Allah as his exclusive fasting, we have our fasting has to have these three components. In, us, in another hadith, Rasulullah said, "Rubba sa'i min laysa lahu min siyam hi lajju wa laqash." Subhanallah, Sadaq Rasulullah. He said very clearly, many people's fasting brings to them the hunger and the thirst. Of course, yes. When we skip food, the results will be we are, will be hungry. When we skip drink, the result will be we will be thirst. <laughs> so most of the people, so many people who are fasting, the result end result is that they are hungry and they are thirst because they drop only two. Their fasting had two components, <coughs> whereas Allah says the three components. My fasting, the fasting which is accepted accepted by me, has three components. <coughs> I'll give an example. We all know a fasting person. When somebody is going to attack him, or fight with him, or pick a fight with him, or criticize him, or scold him, what does he have to say? Inni umrun fasting, subhanAllah. Inni umrun sa'imu. I am fasting. Twice, I am fasting. Now, a fasting person goes out with his friend. He doesn't know he is fasting. He offers you a, a cup of tea. Obviously, we will say, I'm fasting. You're not going to have that tea. Or else, he's inviting you for lunch or dinner. We are what you are saying. No, I'm not going to have that. I'm fasting. For the food and the drink, when somebody is offered, you say, no, I have skipped this. I have stopped this. I cannot take it. At the same time, Rasulullah's hadith says, even for the third component, when a person is going to fight you, he's criticizing you, he's speaking you, he is rousing your anger and the rage and everything. At the same time, say, I have, as a fasting person, I have skipped this too. 